Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. We're going to be working with uh, algebraic expressions, solving questions on multiplication. In this uh, question, we're going to be using the distributive law and multiplying 3cy squared times the terms that are inside this bracket. So using the distributive law, we take 3cy squared and multiply it by minus 4cx. So we have c, or sorry, 3cy squared times minus 4cx. Then we add this first term and multiply it by the second term. So 3cy squared is multiplied by minus 2 xy squared. It's always important just to check to make sure you've written things correctly when you're doing, and you see here it is right there. I had a little feeling something was wrong. So we have a cx here because you don't want to be going through all of this. Wait, 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 that actually is a y. Sorry. You don't want to be going through all this work and find out you've made an error. So this is definitely a y. And we have minus 2xy cubed. Okay, so here we have in this first group, and, and remembering bed mass multiplication happens before addition, so we take the 3 and multiply it by the minus 4, that gives us a minus 12. Now here we have a c1 and a c1. We're going to multiply those together, so we end up with C1 plus 1. And then we have an X and a Y squared. We're going to put the X in front because it's alphabetically in front of the Y. So we have X and then a Y squared. Now I'm just going to put this plus in here and then deal with what's going on inside these brackets. We have 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6. Then we have a C, and there's no other C's here. So we just write down our C. Then we have an X, and there's no other X's, so we write down our X. It's kind of hard to tell because I made a bit of a mess here. But this is Y squared, and this is Y cubed, so then we write it as Y 2 plus three. Now let's go through this again. Here we have minus 12. C to the 1 plus 1 is C squared. Then we have X, Y squared. The plus in front of a negative, uh, what happens is we can just remove the bracket and end up with a minus. So we have an, end up with a minus 6 C, X, and here we have y to the 5. Now we look at our terms. We say to ourselves, do we have like terms here? We do not. This is a c squared. This is a c to the 1. We have x, y squared. These are not like terms, so we cannot add them. So this is our answer. Now in our next question, we're going to be, we have two, um, two um, brackets multiplied by one another, terms inside brackets. And what happens is you use the distributive principle, but you just take it really nice and slowly. Some people call this the FOIL system. Let's write it up here, FOIL. And they multiply, the F stands for first. The O stands for outer, I stands for inner, and L stands for last. And that means what, that, what you're multiplying. I prefer just to use the distributive law, so I take my first term here, I'm looking at my X, and I multiply it by the X. So it becomes X times X. Then I take that first term and multiply it by the second term. And don't forget to add. So plus the x multiplied by the minus 2. 
Then I put in my plus sign again. Then I go to my second term in front inside the first bracket. So I have 5, and that 5 is multiplied by the x. 5 times the x. Then I put in my plus sign, and I take that 5 and multiply it by the minus 2. So we have 5 multiplied by minus 2. So again, start with the first, your first term, multiply it by the first term in the second bracket, and then add it to that term multiplied by the second term. Then you just go to the, number, the second one here and do the same thing. 5 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by minus 2. And thinking about the FOIL method, that means you multiplied the first ones, so that's the first one in this bracket, the first one in this bracket. Then you multiplied the outer, so these are the two outer terms, x and minus 2. Then you went to inner, these are the two inner terms, 5 and x. Then you went to the last terms. The L stands for last, 5 times the minus 2. This is the last term and the last term. Okay? So this is x to the 1 times x to the 1. That becomes x squared. Here we have plus. This is minus 2 times x, which becomes minus 2x. Now we have plus. 5 times x, which is 5x, and then we have plus 5 times minus 2, which is minus 10. Now, getting rid of all the brackets, we have x squared, a plus in front of a minus allows us to just take away the bracket and change this to a minus. This is minus 2x plus 5x and again, the plus with the minus, we just change this to a minus 10. Now we do have like terms here, minus 2x and 5x, so we add those together. But first of all, we write our x squared. We have minus 2 plus 5, which gives us a plus 3, and, oh sorry, plus 3x, and here we have minus 10. And just a reminder that algebraic expressions are written always with the higher power in the beginning, so that's why the x squared is before this x, which is to the power of, of 1. And that was the presentation of Wise Guys. Have a good day.